Well, guys, Black Friday 2018 came and went, and I, you know, really didn't get much. You know, there was nothing big or, or crazy going on, or, you know, there weren't a lot of great deals or anything like that. Why? Hey there, guys, what's up? What's going on? It is Movie Review Mike 18 here, back with another video, back with. A video I haven't done in a very, very long time, but I am very excited to give to you guys, and that is a haul video. And holy crap, I spent so much money. <laughs> it, it speaks for itself. Heavy bag, heavy bag, another bag of other things I have to show you. I'm going to be doing two hauls for you guys in this video, so you're welcome. So I'm going to show you guys every single one of my purchases from Black Friday this year. And then Barnes & Noble has been having their Criterion sale going on for the last couple of weeks. It's still going on currently as of me speaking right now. I looted on some of that stuff too. <laughs> oh goodness, I'm not buying any Blu-rays in December. Uh, Thanksgiving night, I went to uh, Best Buy right after all of my Thanksgiving festivities, and I was there for about 20, 30 minutes, and I got more than, mostly every single thing that I was looking for, I just got right then and there. They basically had everything that I wanted. So at the first Best Buy, I wound up buying 15 titles. First up, $3.99. Uh, th actually, I think this was the only $3.99 title I picked up all of Black Friday. Uh, Hidden Figures. Blu-ray combo pack. I uh, have not seen this movie yet. That's exactly why I bought it. I love all three of these actresses. They're all great. So, boom. $3.99. What a steal. The only thing, no slipcover. I believe this was $5.99, but uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Have not seen this, but David Fincher. I love David Fincher. And there you go. That's enough said. All right, so this one I think I got for $5.99. Only thing I hate about this is that it did not come with the slipcover, and I don't even know if it's the combo pack because I haven't opened it yet, but I got uh, It from uh, Best Buy. This is the new It. Can you guys see that? There you go. Uh, the new It film that came out last year. I did not pay full price for it last year because I liked it. I didn't like love it and want to buy it for full price, so I'm glad I picked that up. That was a steal. $5.99 for that. Next up, I have not seen this movie, but I heard it was really good, and it came out this year, so I want to watch it before the end of the year because I heard so many great things about it. But I love Simon, the combo pack, for $5.99. Uh, I cannot wait to watch that. It uh, looks great. I think this was $7.99. It was either $7.99 or $5.99. I don't remember. I heard mixed things about this, but since it was so cheap, I decided what the hell, and I like her. She's a good actress. Uh, Red Sparrow with Jennifer Lawrence. Um, I heard it was meh, but uh, hopefully it's good, and it's a combo pack. I had 15 titles I wanted to go into Best Buy to purchase, and I walked out with 15, but I decided not to get Game Night, and I got this one instead on an impulse last minute decision. But uh, it's Traffic with uh, Paula Patton. The trailer looked really, really good. Like I like a good home invasion thriller and this looks really good. Next up, this is one of the best deals I made all Black Friday for sure. I think this was the only store of the three, Walmart, Target, and Best Buy. I didn't even go to Target, but of the three, I think this was the only store that had this on sale. I loved this movie. I'm so glad I didn't pay full price for it. I can't wait to watch it again, but it's hereditary for $7.99. I, oh man, this movie creeped me the hell out. I, I did see it in theaters. Uh, scared the crap out of me and my girlfriend, and uh, I cannot wait to watch this again. This was only $7.99 with a slipcover. Phantom Thread. I love Paul Thomas Anderson. This isn't one of my favorite movies of his. It's still a great movie, you know? I've only seen Boogie Nights and uh, There Will Be Blood and Phantom Thread. There's still others I have to watch and see. Blind Buy for me, I was not expecting to purchase this. But uh, it was one of the last ones with the slip cover, and I heard good things, and I got to watch more of his movies. Uh, Isle of Dogs from Wes Anderson, Blu-ray combo pack, $9.99. I saw this movie last year in theaters. I loved this movie a lot, but definitely did not love it as much to pay full price for it when it first came out. But $9.99, Steven Spielberg's The Post. Uh... Great, great deal for this. I cannot wait to uh, watch this again. I love investigative uh, journalist uh, sort of centered movies, you know, like Spotlight or All the President's Men. All right, so then 
here's what I'm going to do next. There were a few other titles that I picked up that night. I'm going to return these because I purchased them either at Best Buy or Walmart for a cheaper price or with the slip covers. They did not have the slip covers for these. So uh, first up is 1517 to Paris. I have that with the slip cover. I'm going to show that right now. Also, listen. Uh, thanks. Next up, Sicario Day the Soldado. This was like the last copy they had in my store. No slip cover though, but I found one with the slip cover. So there you go. These last two, Quiet Place and Rampage, both had slip covers at Best Buy, but I picked them up at Walmart. Walmart Rampage was $5.99. Walmart Quiet Place was $8.99 or $8.98, whatever it was. But they didn't have slip covers at Walmart. So I got the ones without slip covers at Walmart. I took the slip covers off these. I put them on the Walmart ones. And now I'm going to return these back to Best Buy without the slip covers because I love slip covers. And they were cheaper at Walmart. So there you go. Here's what I picked up. Um, from the other Best Buy I went to Black Friday day and then I'll show off my Walmart loot. Okay, so as I just showed, uh, 1517 to Paris, they had the one with the slip cover. This was $5.99. This is another one of the best deals of all of Black Friday. And that was Sicario Day the Soldado. I cannot wait to watch this. I heard it was great. I heard it was not good as the first one, but I'm excited to catch to check this one out. Then I ordered both of these on Amazon like Wednesday night or Thursday during the day and then Friday night when I went to that Best Buy they had both of them for the same exact prices at Best Buy at that Best Buy. My Amazon order hadn't shipped yet so I canceled the Amazon order for these two and just bought them at Best Buy and I was also worried that one of them would not come with the slip cover so that's the other reason why I canceled it. $5.99 I uh, cannot believe I if I'm finally bought this, but this is my favorite Christmas movie of all time. Polar Express, $5.99. What a great deal. And then next up, $6.99 for this at Best Buy with the slipcover. They had a bunch of these left. I didn't see this at all at my wall at my Best Buy, but uh Revenge, which uh, came out this year. Haven't heard a lot about it. Um, but I I, I mean I heard it was great. I, I think I've watched the trailer, but I've just heard so many rays. Uh, buzz reviews for this movie saying how amazing it was and just how important and relevant it is So I cannot wait to watch this guy $6.99 So I didn't even pay for these four at that second Best Buy and I'll explain to you guys why so I bought 15 titles at Best Buy uh, Thanksgiving night. I showed you guys 14 the 15th one that I got was this one right here Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom so what I did was they had a bunch of these on sale at Best Buy without the slip covers. So I went into the aisles and found one with a slip cover, but it had a different barcode on the back. I rang it up, I rang up all my Blu-rays, and then I looked at my receipt when I got home. I'm so glad I looked at it, and that Jurassic World rang up for $22 or $24.96. And I said, what the hell? Why wasn't that on sale? It was supposed to be on sale for $9.99. I went to Best Buy that night on Black Friday night, I returned Jurassic World. I got I was due back like $26. So I exchanged it. I exchanged that that expensive one for these four and she still owed me the cashier still owed me like 40 cents. <laughs> so I was like, "Yes, thank you. I'll get four more movies in exchange for this one." And then what I did before that, I had gone to Walmart and I got a Jurassic World with a slipcover for the cheaper price anyway. This was 7.96. Best Buy was great guys. The only thing I didn't like about Best Buy was that a lot of them didn't have slip covers so I had to take 20 minutes after I got everything I wanted to go look through the aisles to uh, get ones with slip covers. Everything else was perfect and Best Buy totally won Black Friday 2018 for the Blu-rays. So this was my entire Best Buy haul from all of the two Best Buys. So Walmart was nice. They had some great deals and they had some things that were cheaper than Best Buy. So I got to applaud them for that. The only knock I have against Walmart is the organization was awful. It was terrible. They had these giant purple uh, bins that just had hundreds of DVDs and only a couple of Blu-rays. And I didn't even see any TV shows and maybe like even less 4K titles. And everything was a mess. So guys, I had worked an eight hour shift 
Black Friday, all right? So I was tired. I did not feel like standing and looking through bins. So what I decided to do instead was I picked up everything off of the shelves in the Blu-ray section that was in the flyer that I knew that I wanted. Then I just went around grabbing other titles off of the shelves that um, I thought might have been on sale that weren't in the flyer and I started scanning them in just to see what the prices were and boom I got everything that I really wanted first up is quiet place uh, great movie Definitely up. Th I, I wouldn't say it's in like my top 10 top 15, but it's up there. It was really good uh, John Krasinski did an amazing job with this movie. This was only $8.96 for this one. Then the other one that I got, this was a blind, but I haven't seen this, but this was only, um, I believe it was $5.96 at Walmart Rampage. So there you go. Picked them up from Walmart, even cheaper than uh, Best Buys were. This was $5.96, I believe. It had the it has the black sticker, so it was $5.96. This was one of the ones I did find in the bin. So luckily I pulled that out. I almost didn't buy this because I haven't seen it. I don't know what to think of it. Greatest Showman, $5.96. I like Hugh Jackman. I've listened to some of the songs from this, and they're good. So I'm not a big musical fan, so I don't know if I'm even going to like this, but... Hopefully I will. We'll see. This one, I don't even think this was a Black Friday promotion. This was like $7.88, which wasn't one of the, you know, uh, Walmart steals. I enjoyed this movie. I did have my issues with it, but it was worth it for $7.88. Uh, unfortunately, no slip cover for this one either, but what are you going to do? Uh, Catherine Bigelow's Detroit. Uh, Love the cast in this one. Next up, they had a bunch of these without the slip covers in the bin. And I was really worried. I went to the section though. They had only a few of these with the slip covers left. I'm so glad. This was only $5.99. But I, I heard meh things about this one. And that's Pacific Rim Uprising. I hope it's good. I enjoyed the first Pacific Rim. So hopefully the second one is just as good. If not right up there. Next up. I wanted to buy this at Best Buy. But uh, I already had 15 things the first night. This was the first night. So I said no to it, and I did wind up buying it at Walmart because it was cheaper at Walmart anyway. Five ninety six dollars for this. Uh, doesn't have a sticker on it, but Game Night. Uh, I heard this was really funny, great comedy. Five ninety six. dollars I couldn't pass that up. So this is a Christmas gift actually for my brother, but he's already, he already knows about it, so if he watches this video, it's okay. I don't think he's going to watch it anyway, but... Oh well. I would never buy this for myself. Ever, ever, ever. The Walking Dead, season 8 on DVD. He likes the DVDs. Go figure. And he also still likes the show. I don't. <laughs> I did not like season eight. Season eight is one of the worst seasons in my opinion. But it was only ten ten bucks. Nine ninety six. So I couldn't pass that up. This is a Christmas gift for him. And finally, guys, this is the best deal out of any Blu-ray deal that any store had this year. For sure. I don't think anything comes close. This film came out two weeks for full price, twenty two ninety six. And it was on sale for ten dollars. And the reason being it's such a good deal is because it's a Disney title. Walmart had it for $9.96, had no signs for it, no mention of it. The only way I knew this was on sale was that I had saw someone talk about it on Blu-ray.com. The Incredibles 2, $9.96, Blu-ray combo pack. It doesn't come with a digital copy like the standard release. I believe this is the Walmart exclusive, maybe, but who cares? It's the Blu-ray, man. I cannot believe I got this for $9.96. And the only two things I ordered, guys, that unfortunately did not come in yet, I would show them for you in this video if I had them, but I just don't have them yet. They just uh, haven't arrived. I think they're supposed to either arrive today or tomorrow. Who knows? But I got these two on Amazon. Uh, I got Kramer versus Kramer on Blu-ray. I'll post like a picture in the corner. Kramer versus Kramer was 10 bucks. I haven't seen it, but I heard it was a classic and I wanted to watch it. And then Lee Daniels, The Butler, was only $5.99 or 5 bucks, something like that. I picked that up as well. Uh, so both of those are going to be coming in the mail very shortly, hopefully. And finally, guys, as I promised in the beginning of the video, I know this video is going to be super, super long, but... Barnes & Noble had their Criterion sale going on this month, and I started getting into that, and I am slowly regretting it. <laughs> but I got a whole bag here of Criterion titles that I've purchased slowly and gradually. I did not buy these all at once, okay? I cannot afford that. In total, what I bought so far, I bought eight titles. I know, I know, you do the math. And I only bought the ones that were on sale 
for uh, that were the list prices were $39.99, but uh, with a 50% sale makes them $20. So it's like I bought new releases. And like I said, I made several trips to Barnes and Noble, so I didn't spend all my money at once. I have only seen one of these. <laughs> First one up is Rosemary's Baby. I love this movie. I know Roman Polanski directed it. What are you gonna do? You, I, I can't help that. You know, I detached the director. Forget about him. Yes, he, is he a good human being? No, he's awful. This movie is amazing. Mia Farrow, so good in this movie. I actually just watched this recently. First time this year I watched it and I loved this movie. Next up, I have another Paul Thomas Anderson film in this video. I have not seen this, can't wait to watch it, hear great things about this. I don't like this actor, but maybe he's good in dramas. Punch Drunk Love by Paul Thomas Anderson. Uh, I hear great things about this movie. When I was in college, there have been like cinema studies books that I've uh, rented for classes and uh, they've used this movie like in the book, like stills from this movie for like certain chapters. Next up, I have not seen a film from this director, regrettably so. I have not watched the Twin Peaks series. I know, I know, don't kill me. I have it bookmarked on Netflix. I will watch them eventually. Mulholland Drive. I am very excited to watch this one. Um, like I said, I know nothing about this movie. I don't know what this movie's about. I know nothing. I just hear nothing but good things. All right, guys. So next up, I am a fan of the Criterion series on YouTube that gets uploaded where they invite filmmakers into the closet to sort of raid the closet and a pick a bunch of Criterion titles that they get for free. And I watched the one with Barry Jenkins where he goes in the closet and like buys and gets everything and just puts everything in his bag. And he was talking about one movie I had never heard of before. And he was just praising this movie and saying how great it was. L.A. Hain. Uh, no, little to nothing about this. It was directed by Matteo Kasovitz. And I have no idea who that is. I don't know any of the cast in this movie. It is, I believe it's a foreign film. Yeah, it's set in modern day France. So there you go. All right, next few up. Let's get through these guys. Um, I've heard this film is really good. I haven't watched a Robert Altman movie, actually, I don't think. McCabe and Mrs. Miller with uh, Warren Beatty. Uh, don't really even know what this is about, <laughs> but I just got it because I heard it was really good. And I'm trying to build a Criterion collection slowly but gradually, and I will refuse to pay full price. Next up. We have um, uh, a film I haven't seen. I've seen the remake of this movie, which was okay. Wasn't terrible. Could have been better. But I hear the uh, original was even better. Uh, another Dos Dustin Hoffman movie. And I know some things have come out about him, unfortunately. Straw Dogs. Heard this was good. I love this cover. Look at that cover. Look at that. Straw Dogs by Sam... Directed by Sam Peckinpah. Don't know who that is, but... I'm excited to watch this. This is another Robert Altman film. I, the only association I have with this movie is the fact that one of my, I was in a screenwriting class and one of my professors actually talked about this movie, said how good it was and said how great it is for like, uh, you know, it's like one of those like filmmaker movies, you know, that you need to watch uh, being a filmmaker. The Player with uh, Tim Robbins and, oh, Whoopi Goldberg's in, oh wow, Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, Peter Gallagher, I don't know who that is, but another another Robert Altman movie. And last but not least, I just got this recently. I actually watched the first 20 minutes of this movie in an editing class I took in college once. Oh my goodness, another, oh God, another Dustin Hoffman movie. He's, I, I don't know, he's, he's a good filmography. What do you want from me? I'm sorry. Midnight Cowboy. I think it won some Oscars, I think. I don't know. But I hear it was really good. All of these, I'm not gonna even tell you how much all these, I don't even know, I haven't even added all these up, but I guess if you multiply 20 by eight and add sales tax, there you go. That's how you figure that out. But don't tell me what it is. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna know how much money I've spent. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this Black Friday Blu-ray haul video. I hope you guys liked the titles I picked up. I hope you guys enjoyed my Black Friday Blu-ray haul. I hope you enjoyed my Criterion haul. I want to hear it from you guys. What, guy, what did you guys pick up from the Criterion Collection sale? Let me know down below. And uh, are you planning on getting anything else? Because the sale's still going until December 3rd. And what did you guys pick up from Black Friday this year? What did you get? What were the best deals you guys got? And what did you think of my purchases? Let me know all that down below. And thank you guys as always so much for watching. I will catch you guys in my next video. Take care, guys.